Hi and welcome to the life as a volunteer on the research team in a reserve in South Africa. So telling you what we do is all well and good but actually showing you means you actually get a better understanding of what we do here. So we're going to take you around for a week and show you what we do. I see trees of green. Red roses, too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Quite simply wonderful. <laughs> So we have no set schedule here and what we do varies day to day. Uh, we may aim to get X, Y and Z done in a particular week but everything we do here is so changeable it can depend on the weather, who we're out with, the time of year, the time of day, it just depends. Every time we come up here I expect her to like be something. <laughs> like a cheetah. So Emily is currently setting up a telemetry to check for animals. So the telemetry used by the reserve is essentially a big aerial attached to your radio and when you hold the aerial up you'll get a beep from the radio in the direction of the collared animal. The stronger the beep the more likely the animal is in that direction. On the radio you then change the gain and this will tell you how far away the animal is in that direction. I'm not gonna film walking down this so I'm just gonna film you going down for a wee bit. Once we know the general direction that the animal is in, we'll jump back in the car and drive to a different spot and get the telemetry out and check again. And this just gives a more accurate view of where the animal might be on the reserve. No. And we do this a few times, kind of like a triangulation. While driving around, you do always see a lot of cool stuff and some of it we take note of, like these tracks. Hyena and cheetah. With the telemetry you'll often be able to track an animal to within a few hundred metres but you won't always be able to see it so in that case we note down the animal and the gain that we tracked it to. In other cases things like this happen. It's your cheetah! Yay! We actually found something. We were like wait hang on what? There's a thing! We it's a can. It's a bit difficult in the car. ready. Once we get our fill of the animals we head on and this morning we actually decided to go for a walk just to go enjoy the amazing views on the reserve. Thanks, far away. Don't attack us please. Come in peace. Can I make that? <laughs> Jump. <laughs> oh no, I made a mistake. There's something spiky in my shoe. <laughs> we then headed off to do bird surveys. Doing bird surveys at set points around the reserve gives us a good overview of what species there are and their numbers. It also allows us to monitor for migratory species and when they arrive or when they leave to give an indication of when the seasons are changing. Uh, bird surveys are also good indicators of how the whole ecosystem as a whole in the reserve is doing. After this we go and do a game transect. So these are set routes on the reserve where we drive and we note any game animals that we see. Uh, these are good because they tell us not only where the animals are, but where they aren't. 
This is why we didn't go out today. Since it was so hot that afternoon, we decided to stay in and do some data entry and research. So this means that we type up all the data collected from the field and we research potential project ideas that we might have come up with. Currently uh, taking a break from all this. I'm gonna go feed the chickens. These are our chickens. Leave her alone. One done. You need some as well. I'll do the other guys. Oh yeah. Thanks. Thanks. They could say thanks, they would right now. Tuesday was our day off this week and typically we head into town and we do our shopping for the week. We also get a bit of a lie in and you can just generally lounge about the house and do what you want. I've just been doing some research about bird surveys and their importance and I use this title. I really appreciate the name. I really appreciate it. So on the Wednesday we are up at 6.30 and we decided to go and see if we could collect some of the camera casings that are dotted about the reserve. This proved to be a lot more difficult than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> what is on? Ow. <laughs> but bloody hell is it tight. Yeah. Defeated. But a piece of metal on a tree. Until next time. When we decided to take down, it's just the lowest one of the bunch. Yeah, there's a goodie over there. Yay! <laughs> Present. And this morning we went and did another two bird surveys, and these were actually the last ones we had to do for the winter season. Less than 20. It's really weird though that um, five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Freedom! Yay. We looked for some animals. Not it's oh. oh, it's just a black headed snake. Black chested snake. Saw some sable and a warthog. <laughs> <laughs> Take it! Okay, one more! One more! He runs really weird. <laughs> Doesn't he? It's so funny. His paws stick out. Yeah. Uh, we did another game transact and there are various routes about the reserve and each route itself can be reversed to give a more representative overview of where the animals are. <laughs> we then got back to collecting all the camera trap casings. Yay! <laughs> did another game transact. Got a red face Hello. and then the other. And we headed back to the first camera trap casing and finally got it off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to go yeah. and get it? Oh, good job! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the there we go, right. Oh, if you ever have a camera trap yeah. stuck, Emily should go. <laughs> It's me. So first thing Thursday morning we headed out to do a dam observation. During these we have four checkpoints and we spend 15 minutes at each one and we just note what time species come to and leave the dam. 
Uh, this allows us to see when a species are most likely to be at the dam and so can aid the guides on the reserve as to when to take of our guests fare to get the most use out of our time. We then headed off to do another game transact. What? Two young male and a juvenile. Young feet. We checked for telemetry. This place gives me the heebie jeebies. And we had a look around the house where there's a lot of creepy crawlies. How cute. Why? On our way home, we saw the male cheetah and he was having a lie down under a tree, feeling very fat and very lazy. Oh, that's a belly scope fire. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh. After lunch, we headed out to do some reserve work. So this can be anything from cutting trees, to clearing roads, to checking the fencing. Today we went and picked up a load of old disused pipes. This just means that the reserve looks a lot nicer for guests and means that the animals won't hurt themselves on any of it. And then... Oh. Bye. We did try to head home, but we spotted more. We did eventually pull ourselves away. By complete fluke this morning, we saw the wild dogs before we went and did a game transact. <laughs> Betty, are you missing something? <laughs> I know you. Looks like boy again. Yeah. We saw the meal cheetah yet again and did another game transact. So this afternoon we stayed in and we worked on our giraffe ID kit. So we make this using a program called Hotspotter, which compares the patches on the giraffes. Afterwards, we then check by eye because the program is not always accurate. And this just allows us a better overview of the population of giraffes on the reserve and also allows us to see which individuals we see more than others. So I, uh, I have a slight issue this morning. Pulled part of my lace off. I've done a thing, I've just made the lace shorter. So this morning we headed out with the scat dogs. There are two scat dogs undergoing training on the reserve and when we combine their work with other methods such as camera traps and track plots, it just gives us a more accurate view of what predators are on the reserve and where they frequent. Yes. And since the dogs are still undergoing training, we follow along behind just to get them used to others being around while they work. After this, we did another track plot and saw a leopard track. A leopard track. And a little civet tracks. After lunch, we worked some more on our giraffe ID kit. We have Sunday mornings off, but this afternoon we had a presentation on uh, a new data collection program that we're going to be using. So this is just reducing the human error when we're inputting data by providing uh, drop down selections and limiting what we can type in particular columns. That's a week in the life as a volunteer on a game reserve in South Africa. I know I complained a lot about carrying this camera about but it was a lot of fun and I hope it gave you a good view into what we actually do here. Bye.
guys everywhere for a quick walk before our surveys to just enjoy the reviews on the, the reviews. Once we get our fill of watching the animals, we jump, 